What's up, everybody, and welcome to the Bears Profit Plays YouTube channel. If you enjoyed the content in this video, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel below. Also, be sure to stick around to the end of this video for a quick message from our team. Let's get into the video. All right, Trey, let's get into some NBA player props for Tuesday, May 23rd slate of games. A reminder, we have YouTube memberships now here. We have the Bear Pack. That gives you access to our membership plays here on YouTube. Or you can get the Bear Pack Gold. It gives you access to YouTube picks and site picks as well. Comes with a one-month membership to our website, bearsprofitplays.com. Be sure to check those out. Trey, let's look at the honeypot. You guys are trying to pick five straight correct picks on player props nightly for a chance to win $100 in a one-year membership to our website. We are on day number one. We are recording before the game. LeBron James over 24 and a half points is the play you guys went with. Hopefully it cashes. We move on to day two, though. I realized today, Trey, that if the Lakers do not win tonight, we won't have a video tomorrow for NBA. And if the Heat beat the Celtics tomorrow night, we won't have an NBA video until June 1st. So I wanted to make sure everybody knew we will be having a finals contest. We will be playing that with the community, the Bear Pack. It's going to be for cash prizes. We are looking for 10 people to play in this contest. If that does happen and we don't have a video in the next couple days, if both series are wrapped up, we will make a video sometime this week explaining the rules for the competition we're going to do for the finals. So be on the lookout for that. If we don't see you guys until May 30th or whatever the day is, come show us some love on the baseball picks and props we do. We'll still be dropping those daily. But Trey, let's take a look at our player props from yesterday. Start us off. Yeah, I'm zero for zero so far. We are recording before the game starts, and that was a requirement. I needed to watch my Lakers having a historic, historic 3-0 comeback for LeBron James. But for me, yesterday I gave out Jamal Murray over three and a half three-pointers made versus the Lakers. If that prop does cash, my Lakers probably won't end up winning the game. I don't think that they will end up winning regardless. So by the time you guys watch this video tomorrow, I will probably be crying myself to sleep in tears. Goat James, King James is out of the playoffs. Everyone's calling him old. That pisses me off. Sorry, went on a tangent. Bear, what was your pick? Um, it doesn't matter. I'm going to win. Anthony Davis over 39 and a half points and rebounds as my play tonight. I'm going to 7-0. I'm not losing another bet the rest of the year. Let's look at our picks for tonight. Trey, start us off. Yeah, and my pick, it's going to be Jason Tatum over seven and a half free throws made versus the Miami Heat. We've seen Tatum march to the free throw line throughout this series, and it's been fun to watch. And with this being a winner go home game versus the Miami Heat, I would expect it to continue. Tatum, he's been awesome at home this postseason too. And I think I found a great trend that and I think I found a great trend that we can use for this game. In his last four home games, Tatum has hit this number very easily. In fact, he's made eleven free throws in each of his last four home games. And over his last 10 games, Tatum has been taking a ton of free throws as well. When he's on the court over the Celtics' last 10 games, he's accounted for 46% of his team's total free throw attempts. So when Tatum's on the court, it's basically a 50-50 shot. If the Celtics are at the free throw line, Tatum is taking that shot. And it seems like the refs love to give Tatum some home cooking whenever he's playing in Boston. And I'm going to be jumping all over that while it lasts. And I fully expect Tatum to come in this game and shoot a ton of times and try to will his team back from a 3-0 deficit. So give me Jason Tatum to go over seven and a half free throws made versus the Miami Heat. Yeah, Trey, I like that play for my prop tonight. I'm going with Marcus Smart over 12 and a half points against Miami Heat. Game three is probably the hardest basketball game I've had to watch since Killian Hayes played in France, Trey, and he missed 10 threes, I think, and we both had the over one and a half. He was chucking them up. It was brick after brick. So this game was brutal to watch, especially if you're a Celtics fan. I feel bad. Uh, what I mean, I don't really feel bad. I, I don't. I don't feel bad for Boston fans because you guys have had so much success over the last decade plus years. So I guess I don't really feel bad for you, but having your team go down three games to the none when you know you're the better team and they just don't give any effort has to be frustrating to watch. I actually wrote on the website, Trey, on my write-up for the site, Brad Stevens should coach game four, put his ass back on the bench again. I don't think Joe should have made it back to the team playing after game three. I thought he should have been fired on the spot. It doesn't matter anymore, though. We're moving on to game four. And the only player I saw give any effort for the Boston Celtics in game four was Marcus Smart and maybe Robert Williams. So I'm going with Marcus Smart over his 12 and a half points. Boston was down by 24 points. I know a lot of people stopped watching the game, but there was a time they were down 24 points in the second half. Marcus Smart went down the court. Jason Tatum did a half ass cut to the basket. He stopped. Marcus Smart threw it out of bounds because Tatum was done trying. Instead of getting mad at Tatum, Marcus Smart, he went over to him. He smacked him on the ass. He said, let's go. He clapped in his face. He said he was trying to get, he was trying to get the team going. The Celtics need a leader, and it's really nice to have Jason Tatum on your team to score 30-plus points on some nights, but he's not a leader yet, in my opinion. He had his head down, hands on his knees, looked like he didn't want to be there, but Marcus Smart, from what I saw, wanted to play, and he played in the fourth down 30 as well. The only starter on the floor, I know it's not a lot to say one play you saw a guy be a leader, but it's enough, I think. And the stats are backing up Marcus Smart for this play. That's going to be why I'm going to take him in this game as well. In the playoffs, on the road, Marcus Smart has scored 15-plus points in every game besides the game three against Miami. 
He put up a lot of effort in game three. He only shot eight times, so he didn't have enough opportunities to score 15 points. On the road, again, Marcus Smart turns very aggressive, and he shoots more times on the road than at home. On the road, Marcus Smart has shot 12-plus times from the field in every game besides the one game three against Miami. He gets to the basket. He gets to the free throw line. And this number of 12 and a half is way too low for a guy who I know is going to go out there and give it his all in game four. It's do or die time. Take Marcus Smart in this game to have his best game of the series and score over 12 and a half points. All right, guys, that'll do it for NBA player props for Tuesday, May 23rd, slate of games. If you guys enjoyed the content, please sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel below. We see you guys next video and thanks for watching. Just want to let everyone know that while we do give out free picks, plays and predictions on our YouTube channel, we also have a website for you to check out. On our website, bearsprofitplays.com, you can subscribe to the website absolutely free with an email and gain access to our written articles about upcoming sporting events. If you're really looking to make some cash, we have an option to become a member of our website. If you become a member, you will gain access to our lots of the week, which are written articles that go in depth as to why we are picking that particular outcome. As of now, our member plays have been red hot, hitting over 60% of our plays. If you don't want to become a member, it's no sweat. We are here to try and make you guys some money. That's our main goal. So come on over to bearsprofitplays.com and subscribe for free. Check us out, follow our free picks, and see for yourself that our member plays are a great investment for you. Thanks for watching.